Yeah, there's a question here, Bonnie, kind of a general question, which I kind of like, which is um, when had asked it, if, there, if you're a couple in the same family, soul family, are you necessarily soul mates? You kind of want to talk about that as a general yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, you know, there's different levels, as you all know, of our soul connection. Okay, sometimes we like we got the twin flame. Sometimes we got the soulmate, and then we got the people, the the beings that we do the soul dance with. And usually, that's going to be with a soulmate or not. Um, but you know, people think that you're, you know, a true soulmate. You often think that it's you're going to be your lover, your beloved. Usually, soulmates are not. Okay. And then, um, and then you've got the the soul. What is it called? It's like the soulmate thing. Then you got the thing with the twin. Yeah, all that. So, generally speaking, I mean, anyone can activate you. You know, like your soul family. We, you know, we've got these soul families that we live, that we in, reincarnate with. So the people that we do big things with, like your parents. Okay, your parents are big soul soulmates. Your, your lovers, your beloveds, your children, you know, people that are close, really tight friends, you know, like big friends. These are all like big soulmates. OK, soul family is where there's a recognition. Like I've done this many times. When I travel a lot and I'll meet somebody and it's like, whoa, I know you. But it doesn't mean I'm going to do anything with them in this lifetime. But they're in my soul family. OK, so we got hundreds, thousands of people in our soul families that we interact with that we do you know that we do different things with but it's the deep ones the big connections that we continue to do things over and over and over with even the ones where we get really where it goes really gnarly even some of the darkest gnarliest hurtful most painful experiences those are with beings that these are like your soulmates okay so you guys you know it's like don't get too caught up in all this soul stuff I'm telling you, it's like, you know, you can spend a lot of time trying to figure it out, understand it. In truth, it doesn't really matter. What really matters is, do you show up in your relationships? Do you give it your all to open your heart? And are you willing to face yourself through the reflection, through the activation of another human being that's come into your life? OK, that's what really matters. And it's really about the heart opening because when our hearts are open and we're no longer blocked from within, we're no longer inhibited from within our own selves, then we find ourselves just organically being who we are and, and sharing the gift of who we are, sharing the gift of us. You know, that's what everybody wants. You know, people just want to know, will the real you please show up? OK, I just want the real you. And you can't even know the real you if you got too much wounding. So your, your, you know, your connections and your um the dance that you're doing with all these other people in your lives, it's like, just keep showing up, keep telling the truth and get activated and you get triggered, then go in, unravel it, go see, you know, come see us, unravel stuff, change your life. And, you know, that's the cool thing about us. We're accelerating your soul's evolution. We're not just, you know, helping you at a human level. It's like at the soul level acceleration. So again, you know, you, on some level, there's soul recognition, okay? You might have a different family, kind of like, you know, in this family, this is Italian, or this is Hispanic, or this is uh, gr Greek, or whatever, okay? Everyone's got their own family, so to speak. That doesn't mean you don't interact or connect or, you know, find other people, but you will do most of your really intense stuff with those closest to you, all righty?